Now that we're all done with the front point of sale product demonstration, I do want to highlight our back office. Corona POS is a cloud-based point of sale solution. So the back office is just a web page that you can access from any number of devices that you'd like and any device that has a web browser and whatever's most convenient for you. The first thing that you're going to see when you log into the Corona back office is this dashboard here. All of the widgets that you see on the dashboard are customizable. You can order them in whatever order that you'd like. You can add more widgets that I don't have here. It is com customizable per user as well. So you will be able to design this for each individual person that you give access to the back office. One really important widget that I do want to highlight here is our short stocks widget right here in the middle. You can select your location and it'll let you know how many products that are short on stock. For anybody that's running inventory or doing inventory management, this is a very important feature because from here you will be able to hit show details and it'll actually give you an order recommendation per supplier of what products you need to order from them and how much you need to order from them to get back to your maximum level. So most systems have the ability to set a minimum maximum level and alert you um, when you need to order items. But from here, it will actually create those orders for you as well. So for example, I can hit create stock order. It'll pull those two products into a stock order for me, which I can then adjust, change any details that I need to change here, and then send it to my vendor directly out of the Corona back office. You also get some really nice information in this stock order screen that I'd like to highlight really quickly before we move on. If I put my cursor into the quantity field, you're going to get a pop-up that's going to let you know how many of this product that you currently have on hand, what your maximum level is, what your reorder level is, how many you already have on order, your sales in the last 30 days, your sales in the last seven days, and a prediction for the next 30 days, along with lastly, a yearly bar graph down there at the bottom. What we're trying to do here is be able to make to help you make better ordering decisions while you're in the stock order screen without having to navigate and run separate reports or navigate to different areas of the back office. We're trying to kind of load you up with information here that's going to help you order the exact quantity that you need. With that being said, um, after the dashboard, we do have our inventory tab. This is where all of your products, stock orders, which I just showed you, stock receipts, inventory management as a whole, suppliers, warehouse is all going to be in here. Well, I know it looks like there's a lot of different individual settings here. Each business is different. And as you can see next to every tab that we have in the back office, we have this little pencil icon. So you're always able to customize the back office and hide any features that you don't need um, as well as dress it up in the way that you'd like to. Our warehouse tab is an important section that I do want to highlight. If you do have multiple locations, you will be able to see all of your stores in one place, along with your inventory expenses, your stock values, and what you currently have on order. You can also click into each individual warehouse from here to be able to see the granular level of that, which is all of your products, the stock on hand, your reorder level, your maximum level, and you're able to change and manage those here as well. In most systems, like I was showing with the short stocks widget, you do need to set your minimum and maximum levels manually so that Corona can then tell you what you need to order. Uh, we actually have a tool um, which is called order level optimization, which will allow you to automate that process. So if you tell Corona a custom date range that you want to analyze sales from, what supplier you would like to look at, and the order frequency in which you order from that supplier, Corona will actually tell you what your minimum maximum level should be on those products and allow you to roll it out to all of them at one time. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. So if we go ahead and choose our store and our warehouse, and then we choose what supplier that we'd like to take a look at, and we say we order from them every seven days. We can then hit enter and load every product that we buy from that vendor and it'll tell us what Corona recommends that we do with those products. Whether we need to decrease um, because we're not selling them as much as we used to or we need to increase or we need to keep them in the same, it will give you a recommendation for every product that you buy from that vendor and then you can hit optimize order levels here in the top left hand corner and just like that you've now rolled those minimum maximum levels out to each individual product. Another important field on the inventory tab is going to be our suppliers. We will track everything about the suppliers that you would like to. So if we click into our first supplier here, USA Foods, 
you'll notice that we have a field for just about everything that you can imagine that you'd like to track on, uh, from a supplier. Most importantly, that order email so that when you're sending your stock orders directly out of the Corona system, it pre-populates for you. And then obviously the name of the supplier. You can track supplier information, return address information, contact person and contact fields over here as you can see on the right. You can even track order days and delivery days along with any additional shipping costs that they may charge you as kind of like a flat rate fee for doing business with you. The next important tab to cover for our retail demonstration would be the sales tab. This is where all of your receipts, end of day statements, customers, points of sale, and everything really that you need to run sales for your business is going to be located in this tab. One really nice feature that we have in the back office of Corona is the receipts tab. We have a little over 18 different filters for you to find a specific receipt that you're looking for. You can select a receipt out of the list and then get a preview of that receipt over here on the right hand side. And as you can see, this is the receipt that we applied that 10% Cabernet discount to on the front point of sale. These receipts do sink into the back office in real time and you'll be able to apply any filters that you need to to find a specific receipt that you'd like. You can also, once you've clicked on a receipt, you can also find out what end of day statement it belongs to, turn it into a PDF, print a copy of it, and even some more options as you can see here. Another important field that we have in the sales tab is going to be customers. We will give you a, a mini CRM here to track basically everything that you need about your customers or any important information that you'd like to hold. We also have all of your end of day statements in the back office as well. So for example, you can filter for whatever end of day statement time period that you'd like using our custom date range tool over here. The date range filter is the same everywhere that you see it in the Corona back office. You'll always have all of these presets, specific date, custom date range, quarters, and even times a day. Our next important tab to cover will be the promotions tab. So if we click into promotions and then we click on couponing promotions, you will notice that I have a bunch of promotions already set up here. But any specific discount that you can think of that you would like to have trigger at the point of sale automatically without your cashiers having to do anything, you're going to be able to set that up in the back office here. So whether it's like my example, a buy six, get 10% off, or it's a buy one, get one free, spend $15, get 2% off, whatever it may be that you'd like to set up, you can definitely set that up in the back office here. And as you can see, it's a very simple general information about the promotion itself, any customer information that needs to be present for the, the promotion to apply, what the actual trigger is for the promotion, and then what the benefit is down here at the bottom. We also have a really nice setup wizard here. So if you want to try to create some of your own promotions, but actually have us walk you through it, that's what the wizard for, is for in the top left hand corner. Our employees tab is where you're going to manage all of your users, user roles, cashiers, and cashier roles. Um, pretty self-explanatory here. You have users that access the back office where we're at right now. And then user roles are what you allow them to do and see while they're back here. And then you have cashiers and cashier roles, which is the exact same thing, but for the front office checkout. All of your cashiers and then what you allow them to do at the point of sale. Our next tab will be the evaluations tab. This is where a little over 50 different reports are available to you out of the Corona system. Everything from customer specific reports, uh, cashier specific reports, performance reports, organization, your store as a whole, um, sales, product performance, top sellers, slow sellers, warehouse reports as far as inventory management goes, and then supplier analysis reports to see what you're buying from your supplier, has your cost raised with them, things like that are all available to you natively out of the Corona system, uh, and you will have access to each of these. Lastly, we have our settings tab. There's a lot of different information in here that's usually going to be covered with your you and your product specialist um, during your training sessions with us. But there are some important features that I do want to highlight here. First and foremost, we have customer displays on most of the hardware that comes from us. 
And those customer displays can be customized and you can kind of do whatever you'd like with these displays. So as you can see in the top right hand corner, we do have multiple different layouts for you to choose from. You can put images on these screens. You can put video loops on these screens. You can just put text on these screens. It, it really is completely up to you on what you want to do with the customer facing display. Obviously, it's going to show the items being rung up on the receipt and the total to the customer, like just about every customer display does, but you will be able to take it a step further and use it as a really nice marketing tool for your customers while they're at the register. That's about all that I have for you today for the back office demonstration. If you have any questions, concerns, you'd like to do a one-on-one -on -one product demonstration, we're more than happy to do that. Please feel free to reach out to us at 1-833-200-0213, and we'd be happy to take care of you. Thanks for joining the demonstration today. Talk to you soon.